After four days of intense action, Kite Clash 7 is a wrap. After a day like today, it is hard to know where to start. And if you were on the beach today, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We started things off with the continuation of the Kiter Cross races, and it was a close one. With an unusual wind direction at the spit today, the Kiter Cross races were exceptionally difficult, and a few last minute changes had to be made. So the final podiums ended up being hotly contested. And who won? In the women's, we had Corey Coons, and in the men's, Steven Ackersdijk from the Netherlands. The entire day was filled with edge of your seat excitement, but possibly the most intense 10 minutes in Squamish Spit history happened in today's men's big air final. With wind gusting to over 30 knots this afternoon, the ladies had a serious challenge ahead of them, but they managed to hold on to things, throw some huge tricks, and we got an amazing podium. In first place, beating out Lauren Holman and Mary Eve Maynard was Corey Coombs. The men's big air final was a sight to see, and if you were in the front row, you probably got closer than you ever expected. After a day of insane big air tricks, we narrowed it down to a six-man final, and five of those six men have competed in the Red Bull King of the Air before. So you know how high the level was in this competition. On the top of the podium was five-time freestyle world champion and two-time Red Bull King of the Air winner Aaron Hadlow. But his race to the top was not an easy one because right behind him was Steven Akersdijk and Sam Medisky from Canada. Today was arguably the most exciting day in Kite Clash history, but we know that next year is going to be even better. After seven years of Kite Clash, we can't thank everybody enough for all the hard work that it took to keep this event running. Thanks to everyone that joined us on the Spit and online. We will see you next year at Kite Clash 8.